Hey guys, it's Jack Pumpkington, and today we're checking out the Base Breaker 007. So, before anyone says anything, I have the amp on the light facing down, basically. Just because the controls are all on top, and it's much easier to just do this. But, it's a really cool amp. <laughs> um, I am running into this Epiphone Les Paul Standard. Why did I switch to an Epiphone today? I don't play it enough, and, uh, I don't know, just... Thought it'd be fun for the review. Really pretty guitar, and it plays and sounds really good. Um, it's loaded with a DiMarzio uh, tone zone in the bridge. So, Anyway, so this amp came out, I think, in like 2014 or 2015. Um, the whole series. Uh, this was the most affordable, lowest wattage. It's 7 watts, and it's, it's a monster. Like, it's a great little practice amp uh, if you want a little low wattage tube head pair with like a 1x12 throughout your home or a 1x10 I believe the matching cabinet is a 1x10 um, I could be wrong on that though I know the combos are 1x10s but yeah and it sounds great it's a pretty simple control you just got gain, bass, treble, middle and uh, master volume and then you have a treble boost that is foot switchable so yeah so as you can see I've kind of got it dialed where the gain is rolled quite a bit back I've got the volume rolled up a fair amount and I've got the all the EQ settings at noon so here's kind of how it sounds no trouble boost on quite a bit gain with the gain mostly rolled off this amp is pretty much all gain <laughs> like if you want to get a clean sound you gotta crank that clean that volume and roll the gain pretty much all the way off <laughs> Better buttery kind of like crisp cream clean <laughs> um, you get I mean this is supposed to be like a Marshall killer which is funny because I'm a big Marshall fan um, my best comparison is this is basically a blues breaker <laughs> um, I mean it's not but it is you know it's, it's basically a mini plexi takes pedals so well. This does not have an effects loop on it. I believe the 15 watt does. I could be wrong. It does have a line out though. Um, and then just a spot for your, you know, speaker cable and your foot switch. And I mean, even though it's very basic, you can still do so much variety in terms of tone with this. Thing. Like, I won't change any of the settings. All I'm going to do, besides turn off the delay, add that boost on. It's a treble kind of gain boost as well. You can see it really. Really kind of pushes it. because this amp has a bit of a lot of bass on it let's dime the mids and keep the treble just the shy back and we'll keep that gain up like 
the clean channel on my 900. But still want to put that boost on. I mean, that plus an overdrive. volume like this I don't know if it's like the way the circuitry is on the amp but like it's like it gets a volume push at the like from like a like three quarters of the way up to all the way up there's like this extra bit of volume that just kicks in I mean if I if I straight up just roll it back to three quarters of the way up but then dime it again it's just a nice little push without even having to add anything. So let's get like a solid gain. Get a little bit more bass. Take the mids back and kind of push the treble a little bit. And this is what you kind of get. The gain's just under halfway up. See what I say about this amp has a lot of bass on it?
sounds great. I mean, you're getting metal tones out of a 7 watt amp that's made by Fender. And it's all too. I mean, that's something you don't really get every day. Dime the gain. And you know what? Dime everything but the volume. Let's put a noise gate on just in case. <laughs> classy rock sounds and good crunch this is what you want the cleans are not necessarily there but that's not what this is really made for there's plenty of others uh, that you can go for from Fender example a blues junior or a hot rod deluxe or something like that that's more geared toward cleans but can kind of do both but for someone who's looking for a nice tube amp for you know under 300 bucks you, use, you can get these between 250 and 300 depending on the condition and if it comes with a foot switch they're great. I mean, they're really good. It sounds great. And, uh, yeah, I think Fender knocked it out of the park with them. And also, that's what the front looks like. Um, I think that looks really cool. I like the Tolex. I, I like the grill cloth and like the polished feel and stuff. It's just a cool design. It really is. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, didn't mean to do this one for a bit, <laughs> but have a great week. Jack Punkington signing out. Peace. <laughs>